What you guys got another video here for you. Don't make this PC builder mistake. This is quite a common mistake that a lot of beginning PC builders make. We have a Meshify 2 compact case here. We'll use this as an example. This is the actual build right here. So let's assume that you now want to install a 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler into the front of this case. So what you're going to do is see on the website that it does support a 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. But there's more to it than that. And I think this is where people make the mistake. What you need to do is do a bit more investigation and work out whether the radiator will fit in the front. Now, some cases will allow you to remove some of these plastic components here at the front to allow the radiator and fans to be able to sit inside the front end of that case. So make sure you buy the correct case, which is gonna support the cooler that you wanna use, whether you wanna put it up the top or at the front. So in this case, we are limited because it is quite a compact type style case, but it does still say that we can put 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler on there. So let's go to the website. This is what you should be doing is checking the specifications. Unfortunately, a lot of websites, including Fractal, when they're selling cases, they don't actually tell you the maximum space you have in the front. All it says that it supports a 360 millimeter uh, radiator for the front of that case. And you can see it right here. It says front radiator, and uh, it also tells you the GPU max length, which is also very important. We'll get to that a little bit later on. So front radiator up to 360 millimeters slash 280 millimeters that's what the front will accept and it also tells you the space for the gpu max length now radiator support additional details maximum radiator width is 145 millimeters for the front mounting uh, radiator also a maximum motherboard component height for the top mounted radiator is 40 millimeters for more details, you can consult with the manual and take a look and it will tell you more information. So it's not on the actual website. You then have to start delving into the manual. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky for some people because they see front radiator is up to 360 millimeters, but there's more to take into account than just the actual radiator. Let's head over to Deep Cool's 360 mil radiator or all-in-one cooler here. And we can see if we look at the specifications of this, that it's more than 360 millimeters, and yet it's listed as a 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. And you can see uh, right here on the actual specifications, the radiator dimensions is listed up the very top here. And this will tell you the length of the radiator, which is 402, not 360. The width of it is 120 and 27 millimeters is the height. Now, this is important because when you put this in the front of the case, this will then get closer to where the GPU is. So if you've got an extra long GPU, it just might not fit. So you need to make sure the GPU is going to fit in there if you're going to put a radiator in. Let's head over to Corsair's website and we'll take a look at their 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler solution. And pretty much they will give you the specifications right down here. Click on this here and it will tell you exactly what the whole length of that actual uh, radiator is. You can see right here, it says on their website, let's try and find it, 396. That is the product length. And if you go down to the radiator dimensions, it will tell you the full dimensions. It says 396 millimeters, 120 millimeters, and 27 millimeters. So 396 millimeters is the amount of space you're gonna need in that front. So you can go and do all your research now and check the website, but it says right here, front mounted up to 360 millimeters. So when you're looking inside your case, you just might not have enough if you pick one of the larger uh, radiators, even though it says 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is actually 360 millimeters in length. It could be longer and you just might run into difficulties up the very top here. It might not fit. You might start hitting cables or the front uh, header panel on the front of the case. So always check the manual on the website and check the full dimensions of that case, especially if you're buying some of these smaller compact cases like this one right here. 
and I just wish they would make it a little bit more clearer on what the front end space is rather than making it more difficult for people to understand. So you can see right here, radiator uh, length for the front is 360 millimeters max. So we know the deep call is 402 millimeters and that might not fit in the front of that case and you might run into difficulties. So always check and you can see the GPU maximum length. So if you're buying a bigger GPU, when you start putting the front uh, radiator in, that's going to push the width of the radiator. If you have a, an extra fat radiator with fatter fans, you have to take into account the length of your GPU because it might not now fit in the case because you've now put a radiator in the front end. And this is a common problem. And I do believe that a lot of these manufacturers for these cases need to be more clear on how much space is on the top or on the front and how much length you can have because a lot of the radiators do vary in thickness and in length. And it's important that you do your research because sometimes you can run into trouble and some of these coolers are pretty expensive. So it's super important that you get the right size case and the right size radiator for your case and check the manufacturer's website to make sure everything is going to fit inside that case. Sometimes it's best to get a larger size case uh, to make sure that the radiator will fit. You can see here that they highlighted in blue up the top 240 and in the front 280 and 140 and yet it says it accepts 360. Now why that's blue and the others are grey I do not know. But I've looked at some images online and a 360 does fit in there but some of the Corsair ones will fit but also some of the others might not fit. So you need to make sure because there is a controller up the very top there for your buttons and stuff and that may come down a little bit and the radiator may start to touch that if it's too long. So I do think manufacturers need to be a little bit more clear on the actual length and space they have in the front and up the top of cases to make sure people don't keep buying uh, coolers that don't fit. And same thing goes for the top mounted radiator. Things to look out for is clearance on your RAM, clearance on the hoses, make sure the radiator is going to fit into a space up the top and it's not touching the rear exhaust fan. The front facing uh, radiator, make sure there's clearance for your graphics card as well. That's very, very important. So always do your checks before you purchase any components for your next build because you could run into issues and some of these uh, 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid coolers are pretty expensive. You can see I did a search for Fractal Design Meshify 2 Compact 360 all-in-one and I did a search on the images and there is images of 360 mil rads fitted in the front with the fans but you can see it's very very close to that RTX 3080. And again, you can do your search for that graphics card and find out what length the graphics card is and what length that actual cooler is. You can see this one here for uh, Corsair, and that is only 390 odd uh, millimeters. And if you're looking for any ones bigger than that, that's probably about the limit. You're not going to get much more higher than that. So just check to make sure all of your specifications fit with some of the images that you find online. It's important that you do your research. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. A bit of a different video for today, but my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you have a lovely weekend, and I shall catch you in the next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.